Y'all, the wind has been winning, okay? <laughs> Literally winning because it's been tossing stuff left and right. Y'all, look how pretty these leaves are in my yard. And look at my tree. I love this. We don't do no raking of the leaves over here, okay? This is nutrition for the earth. You hear me? Certain things are dying. As you can see, certain things are dying. And as you can see, there are things that are flourishing still in this fall. As y'all can see, my Ashawanda Ganda is blooming. We got some basil still trying to fight its good fight. We have some um, oregano that's still trying to fight a good fight. And we have some green onion that's still trying to fight the good fight. We have some Brussels sprouts in here, baby. We still have some things trying to do what they trying to do. And we have some sage over here. Um, certain things that's still flourishing, baby. You see them peppers? Still flourishing. I just came out here to get some rosemary. It is 4 a.m. in the morning, and we are about to get ready to go to Hampton. And I know you're probably like, bitch, your old ass. Okay, you are literally four blocks, four, three and a half blocks from 40. What the fuck you doing at a homecoming? But it's actually an alumni homecoming. So it's the five year, 10 year, 15 year, 20 year, and 25 year um, graduates coming in to celebrate homecoming. And as you know, my cool ass wife went to Howard and she went to Hampton. It's one thing to go to an HBCU, but it's another thing to go to two HBCUs. And it's another thing for it to be Howard and Hampton. I don't think y'all understand. My wife is a cool girl. She's a cool girl, okay? She didn't want to miss out. Um, she missed the last one, so she didn't want to miss this one. So we are going to homecoming. And I'm so excited because as a person that went to college myself, college used to be super, super fun to me. It's one of those memories that I'm like, I had a good time in college, but I never went to an HBCU. Even though I was surrounded by a lot of black people at my school, I never went to an actual HBCU. So just being in the atmosphere of that, going into like a college vibe, is going to be something very nostalgic. I want to feel like I am a college student all over again. I do. Let's go out and have some fun, okay? I'll see y'all at the airport. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's see how much reading I'm actually gonna get done. I'm, I'm embarrassed while I'm here. Probably just on the plane there and on the plane back. But we're gonna try to get some reading in. is Baltimore. I've never been to Baltimore, y'all, and we're not staying here for me to actually get some Baltimore vibes, but I would have loved some Baltimore vibes. If you from Baltimore, put it in the comments below. Let me know what the vibes like in Baltimore. Let me know if I need to come back. Um, but yeah, we'll be in Maryland a little bit later and then Virginia tomorrow, so we're coasting. This is our stay. We got a nice Airbnb. And I love this. It's a nice little um, sun room, screened in sun room. I've always wanted my own sun room. I grew up with a sun room, actually. My grandmother had a sun room um, off her garage, actually. Not off the porch, but off the garage. And I've always wanted my own sun room in my own home, and we don't have one. 
but I love cute sunroom. So this is nice. And then it enters into the house. One day I'll have my own sunroom for sure, where I can just go have my coffee. The dogs can go out there. I can smoke, do my thug dizzle, have you know my coffee. But this is the house fireplace. You come in. There's an upstairs where our rooms and bathroom are. We have our couch that we're just chilling on about the roll up. Nice dining room area. Nice kitchen. Nice kitchen area. Super cute, super cute, super cute. Hey, baby. And this is the upstairs. It's like an old school house for sure. Where's your spot? Bedroom number one. I don't think anyone's sleeping in here. It's only two of us. So, with well, three of us. Um, bathroom. Super cute. Got the soaps. Super cute. Bedroom mirror. Me. Hey, girl. Hey. Shalia's bedroom. She's not here yet. Amber and I's bedroom. And this room has a sunroom too. But it's a close in sunroom. So this is pretty cool. A close in sunroom off of our bedroom. So yeah, that's the house. Um, we're not gonna be here because we're gonna be at a lot of events and stuff, but that's the house. This is Amber. Hello, alumni. Welcome home, alumni. This is the alumni, the business part of the school. Oh, Y'all, I'm having so much fun. Is it just? Hey, white lady. I feel like I'm in college. All I feel like I'm in college all over again. I've been having so much fun. The curriculum. I'm just an old hag now, y'all. This is Cradle Hall, right here. Cradle Hall. And it was a nice little auditorium. You know, it's cute. That's where they do any like lectures, kind of war stuff. I had accounting, I think, or finance or some shit. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, this is cute. 
Y'all, classrooms really look like classrooms. Oh my, y'all, I haven't been in a school. <laughs> like, I miss this. We well, had really no worries, y'all. Don't grow up if you're a kid, yeah, for real. Like, please stay in school. Get that free lunch. Get that dorm room experience. Like, get off your phone. Go outside. Like, be in college. Ugh, college was so fun, you guys. This is actually a really nice library. I miss this. And they partying over there. So, you gotta appreciate this while you're doing it, you know? College. But yeah, welcome on, bring your people, please. All the food come out hot and ready, literally. Oh, to right. It looks nice and crispy. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Hey. Thank you. Wow, that's a blessing. Thank you. Wow, that's nice. Y'all, they gave that to us for free. Why did they give it to you? And they was just like, come over and try this. Oh, try it, man. Try it. It's good. Y'all gotta go to DHR. Fire, I want one. Oh, yes.
didn't get as much footage as I wanted to get in Hampton because I had no idea that I was like filming for YouTube to be honest I didn't get a lot of footage I didn't even post a lot of footage on Instagram I really was in the moment but I do understand if I want to get back into my YouTube vibe that I have to be a little bit more intentional about pulling out my camera so I just basically shared whatever I had for my camera roll. And from this point forward, I'll be a little bit more intentional about capturing a little bit better for YouTube purposes only. Okay, if I know I'm gonna do a YouTube video, I'm gonna be better at like picking up and filming just a little bit more because so much happened y'all while we were there in the best way. We just had a great, great time and I don't know if it captured that for real. I won't say I necessarily felt like a college student, like I did, but I also felt older. Like I felt like, like seeing the younger people around me as well. It's like, yeah, I look young, but like I felt like TT. <laughs> I felt it, like my inner felt like TT. Like, oh my God, like this was me back in 2006. You know what I'm saying? So I actually enjoyed the events where it was like the older crowd, the 30 plus crowd, because, oh my God, that was a time. Do you hear me? I actually ran into a few people that knew me from Instagram or YouTube and we got some hugs in. Hella people was taking pictures of me and me and Amber. Um, some girls even stopped me so that I can do a TikTok with them and I'll put that TikTok here. Y'all, the crazy part is, I always say that I've never seen a person do a TikTok in real time, like in real life. Like, I make videos on TikTok, but I'm not a TikToker, you know? I'm not coming out with the ring light. I'm not coming up with something connected and a mic connected to my phone. There's people that do this shit for real. I always tell people, do not call me a content creator. I am not a content creator. Okay, I feel like that belittles what content creators do. Okay, I think it's a lot that goes into being an actual content creator. I am just a regular smegular person that make videos and that's it. I don't even have a niche, okay? I have too many niches that I don't even have a niche, you know? So 
I'm not a content creator, so I'm not very big on like thinking about, oh, bring your ring light out or, oh, you might catch a vibe today, you know, like, oh, make sure you have this sounding cue or this is what I want to, I don't think like that, y'all. And I've also never seen a person actually do a real TikTok in real time in 4K in real life. So the fact that they wanted me to be a part of TikTok, one was super duper fun. Um, we had so much fun making it. Also, I didn't realize like you can't hear nothing. So like I said, I've never seen a person do a TikTok in real life. So to hear them like count down like one, two, three in the club, we all fam. Like you don't hear it. So you just got to be on cue. So yeah, it, I, that, was, that was the first for me, but it was super duper fun. It was just, I had a good time y'all. Even the black party y'all, I looked fucking good. Did not take a one picture. Y'all have never seen me in a nice skin tight dress with the boots all the way to the thigh. Like y'all ain't never seen me like that and I took my nan picture baby so I will get better. I wanna start creating episodes. So this will be considered episode one. Um, I want this to be turned into episodes so that I'm a little bit more intentional and more focused on the, the content that I give you guys, um, or the videos I share with you guys. I want it to be a little bit more direct and not so all over the place. So I'm gonna separate my videos into like episodes, I think. Actually, I want y'all to help me out. What do you guys prefer in videos? Do you guys want me to make vlogs where you're gonna get a lot in one vlog? Like you're gonna get a mukbang, you're gonna get a book vlog, you're gonna get a regular vlog, we're gonna go out to eat. Do y'all like it when everything's just compiled in one vlog? Or do it feel all over the place and you're like overstimulated? Like, oh my God, I just got so much at one time. Or do you like it where it's like, I like a theme, okay? I want a theme and I need you to stick to that theme in the video, okay? If you're gonna do a mukbang, I don't wanna wait until the end of the video to get to the mukbang, baby. I want the, the whole video to be the mukbang. Start it from the ruler to the tutor as a mukbang. Don't, don't send me out to go buy fish and don't send me out to clean the house and don't send me out to the garden and then 15 minutes throughout the video, now I'm at the mukbang, baby. I want the mukbang. Okay, that way for my people who are very particular about what they like seeing from me, they know what they're getting from the title all the way through, you know? Everybody don't care for books and reading and book vlogs, but when I'm talking about books, I want it to be solely about that. So y'all just let me know. Y'all just let me know. I love y'all down. I'm gonna try my best to be super consistent. I'm gonna try my best. I need y'all to interact. I need y'all to like. I need y'all to comment. I need y'all to share. I need y'all to talk to the kid, okay? Because when y'all talk to the kid, it makes me want to upload a little bit more. When y'all don't talk to the kid, it makes me want to just go back into my real life and chill. Again, I had an amazing, amazing, amazing time in Hampton. And yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until next time. Bye.